I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your postnatal dumbbell strength one workout. So this workout is for anybody who is postnatal, whether you had your baby weeks ago, like I did, or even years ago, it doesn't matter. The one in the title is just that it's for people who are just getting back into exercise after having their babies. We'll be using one set of light to medium dumbbells. It's up to you, I'll be using fives, and we'll be working the entire body for strength and also getting your heart pumping for cardio. As always, please make sure that you have been cleared by your doctor for exercise before you do this or any other workouts. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a quick little warm up. The goal is just to get the blood flowing and getting our muscles moving. Whether you just had a baby a few months ago like me, or you had your baby months or years ago, but you're just now getting back into exercise, which is totally fine, it happens, then it may take a few minutes to get the blood flowing and get your muscles ready to go. Let's roll through those shoulders. This is really true for anybody starting a workout. This is why we do what we call a dynamic workout, warm up, big deep breath in, dynamic warm up, just to get everything moving. We'll save more of our deep stretching till the end, one more. And then let's take it out, let's roll through our backs. So flat back down, round it up. This is a place that for most of us moms, whew, <laughs> We really feel it in our backs, right? Because we're always holding kiddos, lifting them up, not to mention doing a million other things with our bodies. Big deep breath in, all the way up. And let's just tap and reach across. So, a couple of guidelines. This workout, we're gonna take it pretty slow, but be where you are today. It might be easy for you, it might be harder for you. Certainly you can take it up, let's go over your head. You can go heavier dumbbells, or if it's just too much <coughs> for you, excuse me, you can hit pause, take a longer break if you need to, or do the moves without the dumbbells. That's totally fine and just as effective. Let's take our knees up nice and easy. So be where you are today is something you're gonna hear me say a lot and listen to your body. The fact that you showed up today makes you successful. So just remember that if you need to take breaks, take breaks. If you need more, please feel free to visit all my other postnatal videos. I've been filming them through both after both pregnancies and the little hamstring curls to the back or some of my regular videos. I would say if you know that you have diastasis recti, this workout and that is ab separation, we all get a little bit. Let's do some little kicks forward. This workout is totally fine for that. In fact, most of my postnatal workouts, I'm gonna give you options for that. If you have, and I'm gonna link a video right here where you can see if you have it, test yourself. It's best to get a diagnosis from a doctor, let's just tap it out, and to work with a physical therapist if you can, if yours is severe, but a lot of the core exercises I'll show you in this video, but also in my specific postnatal core videos and specific diastasis recti videos are great for that. Great if you had a C-section, I had a C-section with my first. Really important that we train our core in the right way after having babies. We can't just jump right back into those planks or crunches. We wanna train from the inside out. Our core did a lot of work during pregnancy and delivery. Okay, so please visit my other postnatal videos if you wanna hear me talk more about that stuff. But let's go ahead and jump right in with our dumbbells. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Make sure that you're bending your knees to pick them up. So that is something that I can't stress to you enough in terms of our back. How many times do we do that, mamas? Where we reach over to pick a toy, or pick up the baby, or you know anything, cleaning, all of that really takes its toll on our backs. So as much as we can try to think about it with our kids, I know it's not that easy, but especially in our workouts, bending those knees to get down, pick stuff up, that will save our backs in the future. Okay, so we are going to start with a very basic squat. So toes slightly wider than shoulder width and just sit low and bring it up. So focus on driving those hips to the back and bringing it all the way up. If you need a little help, if you feel like your knees are going too far forward, feel free to put a chair behind you or the couch or anything that you can sit just to give you a little bit of guidance. You can even sit 
all the way down. This is such a basic move and so important. How often do we do this in our everyday lives? Getting up and down from a chair, off the toilet, out of the car. So really important that we strengthen these moves. Taking it nice and slow. If it feels like too much for you, set those dumbbells down and just do it with no weight. You just sit and up nice and slow, breathe. And what I want you to think about through all of these exercises, let's go two more, is also keeping that core up and in and pulling up on that pelvic floor, breathe. So what I mean by that is that you're pulling in that deep core, pulling up. You hear me talk about Kegels or Kegels. I've got some videos specifically on how to do that as well. Just making sure you're pulling everything in. Let's stay with those dumbbells and then let's do just a very basic bicep curl. So we're here, take it down. So watch me here, mamas. If you can, stand up nice and tall. If you feel like you're, you're arching a little bit or you feel it in your back, put one foot back. We're just up and down. And if it starts to feel too heavy, just alternate one at a time. Or again, you can put those dumbbells down and just do the motion without the weight. Totally fine. Biceps actually, and the, these parts of our arms, get a pretty good workout when we have kids because we're always holding them, right? But it is important to do structured training with them because sometimes we get imbalances or aches and pains from holding those kids all day long, right? Last two. One more. And relax. So drop those over to the side. Stretch it back here. And we're just going to get a quick little core interval and then a quick little cardio interval. So for our core, we're gonna do belly breathing. So I have some videos that break it down a little bit more, but for us today, we're just gonna do a big inhale, expand through your lungs and your rib cage. As you exhale, tilt everything in and pull up, just like we were just talking about. We won't do very long, but think about tilting the hips towards the ribs. It's not sucking in and it's not pushing out, it's just expanding through. As you exhale, pull up and in. Two more. Last one. And breathe. And our cardio interval, we're just gonna do little step touches, side to side. If you're feeling good about it, you can take it to a little hop step or even a little bit more of a jump. That's too much for me today, so I'm just gonna keep it at a step touch. So that belly breathing that we just did is so, so important for everybody, but especially if you've had babies and your core has been pushed out, and that deep core, our transverse abdominis, or TA or TVA, that we call it, that's what we wanna work. So in order to get that flat belly that people talk about, or lose the mom pooch, all of those things that we talk about, whether you've had babies or not, male or female, it's all about the deep core. So that belly breathing, even though it's tedious and it feels slow, really, really important for that. So see my other videos to get more of a breakdown and then do it throughout your day if you can. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells again. We're just gonna grab one dumbbell this time. Bend your knees to do it. We're gonna have it in one hand and whatever hand it's in, that hand is gonna step back, that foot is gonna step back and we're gonna do a small little lunge. So hand here. So I want you to keep it nice and small. Have a hand on the wall or a chair or give yourselves a little bit of balance if you need it. If you're feeling good with that, you wanna add that second dumbbell. You can breathe small little down and up. So I don't want you to go super deep unless it feels okay. If you can, certainly this is what we wanna work up to. I remember after my C-section with my first, that sometimes getting super low was uncomfortable with my incision. So I just kept it pretty small, small little bend in the front of the leg. But if you can get a little lower, that's great too. Last one and breathe. So then let's switch your sides. Just turn right around. Here we go. Drop it down, bring it up. So if you can get low, get low. Start really small. You can keep it just halfway. That's fine too. In all my other workouts, you're gonna hear me say, get low, get low. But again, after we've had babies, a lot of times that's tough for us to do. Breathe, keeping everything pulled in. 
thinking about that deep core, that TA we were just talking about. One more right here and relax. Okay, switch that dumbbell to that first hand and we're going to do just a little press right here, just up and down. If that feels like too much, grab it here with both, up and down and we'll just go four more, four, three, super simple, two, one, let's switch it other side, elbow in, straight up, straight down, breathe, again, if it feels like too much, just grab it with both, four, three, two, one, tap it out side to side. Okay, so we're gonna get another core move, another little cardio interval. So dumbbell here, hand here, small little lateral bend. So keeping everything tight, we're not going super far. All of our lateral movements are great for core, both during pregnancy and after, because we're strengthening those internal and external obliques. If you can get a little lower, that's great, but don't push it, especially if you know you have separation. Let's go four more, four, breathe, three, two, one more right here. And we'll switch it to that other side. Down and up, knees are soft, just small little bend. We're not moving, twisting in the torso or the hips. It's just right through here. Breathe, small. And again, a lot of these moves in this video or any of the postnatal one videos, last four are gonna feel kind of slow. Maybe if you're used to working out, that might feel slow, last one. Tap it out, drop it down. But really important when you're coming back after having a baby that you take it slow. Trust me, especially after my first pregnancy, I worked out a lot more and I was really ready to go and I had to take it slow. You don't wanna risk going too fast too soon. So let's just do a little modified jumping jack. So you're stepping out as you reach it over. You can keep it here. If you're feeling good, you can take it to a nice light, light jumping jack. That does not feel good to me, postpartum, especially if you're nursing. So keep it here with me if you want. Yeah, it's very important. Sometimes people push themselves too fast. Sometimes you end up bleeding again, or if you have a C-section, I've known people to open, reopen their incision. We definitely don't want that. And you just don't want to end up with an injury. Your body, has lost strength, that's okay. That's what happens. And you gain strength in different ways. So listen to your body, don't go too fast. When you're ready to move on from this video and the one series, then you can move on to the next. But for now, just make your goal to get moving and slowly build that strength back. Good, tap it out, breathe. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our two dumbbells, bend your knees to get them. Let's actually grab a sip of water. I just realized we haven't done that yet. Bend your knees to get your water. Definitely make sure you're hydrating, especially if you are nursing. But even if you're not, you're probably sleep deprived, even if your kids are teenagers. So let's take those toes out. We're gonna do a nice deep plie squat or sumo squat. So really good postpartum because as we pull up and squeeze inner thighs and glutes, you can also pull up on that pelvic floor squeeze in those kegels and tuck in, pull in with that deep, deep core. So here we go, drop it down, squeeze it up, take it nice and slow, good posture. This is also one that I love to do holding a baby. I'm gonna drop these down, bend my knees to do it. You can do them without weight if that feels better, but I currently have a three month old who only likes to be held, especially during the day and needs to be moving. So instead of just doing the endless swaying back and forth, I try to do some plie squats. So it puts her to sleep sometimes and I feel a little more productive with that endless holding of a baby, which I'm loving, but you mamas know if you have a baby like this, when you can't put them down all day, sometimes you just want a break. Let's go four more right here. Four, pull up and in. Three, two, one more right here. 
and tap it out and relax. Good, roll through those shoulders and breathe. We're gonna grab one of our dumbbells, bend your knees to do it. And we're going to go up over our heads, elbows in and go behind the head for some triceps. So watch me here, here to here. My elbows are in nice and tight. The reason I wanna do this from here is because we get that stretch up and through our backs, keep going. One foot back for balance, here and here. You keep going, I'm gonna tell you why that's important. It's important because, especially if you have a new baby or a toddler, there's so much bending over, so much holding the baby, rocking the baby, changing the baby. Even if your kids are older, you end up, we just get pulled forward a lot as moms. So this, while we're working the back of the arms, the triceps, is just going to force us to lengthen stabilizing that core without putting a lot of extra pressure and strengthen those triceps. Take your time. Let's go four more. Four, elbows in. Three, two, one more. And relax, good. So breathe, hang on to one of those dumbbells. And we are just going to do a wood chop. This is our core exercise. So watch me here. I want you to turn knees and hips. So that makes sure that we don't twist too much in the torso if we have that separation. Knees and hips down to the side and then bring it up. So watch my knees and hips and toes down, bring it up. If your weight is too heavy, keep it close to your body or do it without the weight completely. You're just twisting down to the knee, up to the side. Breathe nice and slow. We're not throwing it. We're working the core. One more. Twist and back. Tap it out. Drop it down. Give those shoulders a little break. It's an arm exercise too, right? Especially after we just did those tries. I know. So same thing, other side. You can keep it long. You can keep it close. You can do it with no weight at all. Take your time. Here we go. Twist and twist. Whole body is moving. So even though we're working through the core, we're not twisting in that torso. Breathe and up. Let's go four. Keep it close if you want. Three, two, one more. And relax. Drop that dumbbell down, bend your knees to do it. And one last little cardio, and then we'll take it down for a couple things on the mat. We're just going to tap it back. So just nice and slow. Again, if you want a little extra and you wanna take it to a little hop step, you can, if that's where your fitness level is. That's not mine right now. So tap it out, breathe. Just tap. So we're gonna take it down to the mat. We'll get a little sip of water after this. Do a few mat exercises, both lower and upper body, and then some safe core exercises as well, and then a stretch. Four, last three, two, one more, and relax. So go ahead and grab a quick sip of water. And then go ahead and grab your mat, if you've got it, or just down on the floor wherever it is comfortable. So really important, you may have heard me say this before in other videos, if you've just had a baby, and maybe even if you haven't, if you know you have separation, try not to just go down to the mat, bring it up haphazardly. Same thing when you're getting in and out of bed or you know off your side at any capacity. Come down to your knees and then come down from your side. So what that does is it avoids us putting all that extra pressure on our midsection, on that abdominal wall, which may be separated, even if it's not, if you just had a baby or you had a baby years ago, it definitely has been stressed. So really take your time with that. So let's take it all the way down, roll onto your back, and we're just gonna start with your very basic bridge. So it's totally up to you if you want to add some dumbbells, if you have some light ones, you can rest your dumbbells right on top, either two or one, or do it without. Start at the base of your tailbone. We're gonna inhale, exhale, pull that deep core in, and then just slowly roll up, slowly roll down. Inhale, exhale, 
I know this feels slow, but I want you to really focus on the core. Inhale, exhale. So a lot of times in workouts, we end up just going down and up, which is fine if you're just focused on glutes and hamstrings, as long as you have good form. But we want to really engage the core postpartum. Inhale, exhale. Still squeezing in glutes and hamstrings. And if you've got those dumbbells, that's gonna help. If that feels like too much pressure on your back, inhale, exhale. And let's go one more just like that. And let's hold it here. Core is pulled in tight. And from here, we'll just do a little down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up. So small motion, keep that core pulled in tight. If it feels like too much with your dumbbells, just keep it here for four, squeeze, three, two, one more, and relax. And go ahead and bring one leg in. Oh, <laughs> this is real life. That was a workout that I filmed right before this that just fell off my camera. <laughs> Don't do what I just did and pop up, but <laughs> get a little hamstring stretch. Sometimes you guys ask me if I do a lot of different takes when I film these videos. Obviously not, right? <laughs> I don't have time for that. We just gotta keep making them, so. Okay, <clears throat> so let's stay here. Let's grab both of those dumbbells. Elbows are out wide, core is in tight. Just your upper body, it's your basic chest press. So we're not just working the chest, we're actually working a lot of triceps, back of the arms, and upper body, all through the upper body, and then also really engaging tight in that core. So just nice up and down, breathe. If this starts to feel like too much weight, again, you can just do the motion, or you can just go straight up and down with one. Just press. Focus on that core, focus on those strong arms, breathe. Let's go four more. Four, three, two, one more. And relax it down, breathe, drop them down right here. Whew, okay, so then just to get a little bit of core, we're just gonna bring one knee in at a time. So nice and simple, very basic, but trust me, it's working. If that's feeling okay, and even if you have a little separation, this one's okay, you can take it up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. If that feels like too much on your back, just keep it with the alternating, or you can start from the top and just go down and down. This is C-section safe, diastasis recti safe, but certainly listen to your body. If it feels like too much or you feel too, too much pressure in your back, and keep everything pulled in tight. It's hard to do. Take a break if you need to, if you're from here, or take it back to the just the alternating. Four, three, two, one, and hug the knees in. Just gentle roll side to side. So let's turn over onto your side, and we're just gonna do quick side planks, still working with our Core. We're gonna stay on our knees. Certainly if you wanna go up all the way up on the toes, you can. I'm not there yet, so it is up to you. Again, this one is safe, whether you had a C-section or if you have some ab separation, just pull everything in nice and tight, just holding, you can have this hand for balance. If it starts to feel like too much, take a little break, come right back up into it. We're holding about 20 seconds. That's all, three, two, one and then we'll swing those legs around to the other side. And same thing from here, here we go. Lift it up and hold. If you need a break, just drop it down. Come right back down into it. We are almost done. Breathe, everything's pulled in. Last four, three, two, and relax. So turn into your mat, bring those dumbbells in, and last thing, we are just gonna get a row from all fours. So we're on our hands and knees. Really important to strengthen that, that back, core is in tight, and just alternate one at a time. 
So this is something we can do from a standing position, but doing it from all fours really puts us right in the right position to have our back nice and flat. Sometimes when we're standing, we round too much, so just make sure you're pulled in here and your core is in tight. And then just this also makes sure that we're pulling with our back muscles. And again, super important to strengthen through our backs. Postpartum, again, whether that was weeks, months, or years ago, because everything pulls us forward with motherhood and with pregnancy. So really good exercise from here. Let's go four, elbow right by your side. Three, two, one. Relax those down to the side. Stretch it back. You did it. Reach those hands forward. And just sit deep back into that as far as is comfortable for you. Couple deep breaths. And then let's come into a nice, easy seated position. Just feet wherever they're most comfortable. If that's here, if that's here. Big deep breath, reach and fold it over. Let your head drop to the side. So if you need more, feel free to check out any of my other postnatal workouts. Reach it over. And then reach those hands to the back. Open up that chest. And if you need more of a stretch, do have a postnatal stretch workout. Not workout, postnatal stretch. And breastfeeding stretches. So even if you're not breastfeeding, if you are just feeding the baby, you're gonna be pulled forward. So those are really great uh, stretching quick videos that you can do in all your free time as a mom, right? Huh. I know, it's funny to me too. Okay, one leg out, just open it up as far as is comfortable. We're all pretty tight through here. And just breathe over into that. So reach if you can, don't stress about it. Just take a couple deep breaths, leaning over into it. And let's go one more. Other side. A few deep breaths. You did great. No matter what happened, you showed up today. You are getting healthier for yourself and for your kids and all of your loved ones. Great job, mama. That was your postnatal strength. One workout, one big deep breath in and out. Great job, everybody.